So what I'm doing here is something called plate solving and basically what that does is the software takes a photograph of where the telescope is pointing and then does a very accurate analysis of the star pattern to determine precisely what the telescope is looking at. It then matches the position calculated to the reading of the mount itself and corrects any difference. So at the moment I've got the telescope pointing up to Procyon and let me see if I can turn this light off. There it is in the software. Now what I'm going to do is just do the plate solve. So it's taking a photo, it's then going to analyze, it's found 27 sources, it's doing the solving and it's realized there was a 0 0.80 degree error and it's recentering the telescope and as you can see there's the star nicely centered. It's actually pretty amazing. It's the first time I've used plate solving but it's a way to get your telescope extremely accurate. So we'll do another plate solve on the star Hadar Point seven four degree error. <laughs> that just works amazingly well. So what I've done here is just look up towards the celestial equator and manage to find a number of satellites. So those three dots that are stationary are the satellites. The tracking is turned off so the telescope is just not moving. And the stars are moving. Those three satellites are geostationary satellites. So I've now turned the tracking back on and as you can see the stars are now stationary in the frame and the satellites are moving. <laughs> 